Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. Welcome to a photo of the week. And this week, it is not a photo that I took. It is a photo that Peter Souza took. He is the White House photographer. Uh, this was taken, I would guess, what, Sunday night was when this raid was going on for the, the whole uh, going in there after Osama bin Laden. And this photo came out, and it's just one of those history-making photos that you sit there and go, wow, what was it like to be in that room? Or what is it like in general to just document the president's every single move? And nobody is looking at him, uh, which is amazing. I mean, we know what they're looking at. They're watching live video of the whole raid going down. But really, he is just a fly on the wall. His job is to capture exactly what's going on all day, every day, no matter where he is in the world. He's traveling along with the president, um, capturing everything, which is just amazing. Could you could you imagine having that job where you have to be there doing all of this stuff, getting on the plane, getting off the plane, shooting everything and anything that the president does? And I'm pretty sure that he does not shoot raw. Uh, from what I've read or from what I've heard is that you are not allowed to manipulate these photos in any way whatsoever. So I'm wondering if he shoots raw and processes later or or I know he shoots JPEG, but I'm wondering if he shoots raw and JPEG because the raw files uh, files are allowed to be kept. I don't know. I think that's a question. Does anybody out there know if that's the case? Um let me know, because I'm very interested to hear about that. I mean, it is what it is. If that's just what the rules are and that's how you have to do it, then that's how you have to do it. Uh, you can see all of the information down here. Um, the White House actually has their own page. Before we get into the photo, they have their own Flickr page. So you can, there's, what, 3,300 or so pictures that they have posted since day one. And you can just see all these different galleries. Oh, wow. You know, there's just so many different things. Holiday, the year in photos. That was great. I sat there and watched that before. But there was something interesting here that I noticed. I never saw this um, this logo right here, this trademark thing or this copyright thing. And it says copyright, other rights pending to the United States uh, pertaining to the U.S. government works. And it says that, you know, you can read it right here. There's no copyright on these images. You can do whatever you want with these images. Um, they're there. I mean, you can't use it for commercial use or for political gain, but you can print them. You can talk about them. You can email them. You can download the full res images and just do whatever you want. Now, you are not allowed to manipulate them, which is what it says right here in the, in the, in this information, in the metadata, you cannot manipulate the photos. They did manipulate this photo right here. They had a blotch something out from Hillary Clinton's computer, I would assume it's Hillary's computer, um, because it's probably classified information, and they had to cover it up. But they did let people know in the copyright information that this picture was manipulated, because that's something you have to be careful now. If you do make a change to an image, you take something out, you add something, you have to let people know that the image has been manipulated. So let's break down this moment. I mean, this is an amazing, amazing image. Shot with, uh, I know he shoots 5D Mark II, 35 millimeter f1.4 at 1600 ISO, um, one one hundredth of a second at f3.5. Um, I, I was trying to figure out this naming sequence, and I haven't quite cracked that. Um, it would be very interesting if somebody again out there knows this naming sequence and, and what it refers to, but it would be very interesting to see how they go about naming because he's probably has thousands upon thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of images that he has captured of the president. But let's, you know, let's look at this. It's one of those moments that you just sit there and you go, wow, everybody is paying, well, except for the general here, he's typing to somebody, but I mean, you can just see Hillary actually is the focus area. I was looking for the focus area. She is what's sharp. Nobody else here is in focus. You know, not say that they're out of focus. They just weren't focused on because uh, the president's back here, the vice president's over here, and they're in the situation room. And you can just see everybody watching. And it's it's just one of those moments that's captured in time that that that's going to live on as, as just a, one of those historic images. And that's what's amazing about 
the presidential photographers of the past. I did buy that book a little while ago. I think Amazon had it where it was the great, where it was just presidential photos. And it's just amazing to go through there and see just the, the images that are captured. I mean, you, it's like the ultimate rock star is the president. And this guy, Peter, uh, has access to shoot whatever he wants, or that is his job to be there and shoot stuff like this. I mean, is there pressure? I'm I'm sure there's pressure to be you know to get every photo right, especially in moments like this. Uh, it you know I, I well actually there's another person here. I didn't even I didn't even notice that. Um, but it it's just a wow picture that you look at and you go. That is a moment that's captured that's going to live on and just be in the history books or whatever. Uh, but as the presidential photographer, they're there to document everything and anything good and bad that's going on because it's meant to be documented. So I thought that this would be a good photo of the week to share with everybody and let you know that the the White House has its own Flickr photo stream and you can follow the work that Peter Souza has done uh, on there. It's just it's amazing stuff to sit through and really see what he captures day in and day out of the president wherever he is around the world. So that's, you know, the photo of the week this week. And, um, yeah, just capturing the moment, capturing history. And that's, and that's exactly what he's doing. Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. See ya.